All right, so here we're going to look at some examples of the ratio test. So part A, we're just going to figure out whether the series converges or diverges. n equals 1 to infinity, 4 to the n, times n factorial squared over n plus 2 factorial. So I think the thing that will probably make this one most confusing is just the factorials. So we'll just have to be a little careful when we simplify those. So the limit as n goes to infinity, we would have 4 to the n plus 1. Um, then we would have n plus 1 factorial squared. We would have, we would replace the n with n plus 1, so we would have n plus 1 plus 2, or n plus 3 factorial. We can multiply by the reciprocal, n plus 2 factorial, over 4 to the n times n factorial squared. So, all right, so now just kind of the simplification part. Um... I'm just going to sort of reline everything up, just to, you know, you certainly don't have to do this, but to maybe make things a little clearer. We have 4 to the n plus 1. I'm going to put the 4 to the n in the denominator. We have an n plus 1 factorial squared, so that means we have n plus 1 factorial times another n plus 1 factorial. We've got the n factorial squared, so I'm going to put an n factorial here and another n factorial there. And then our n plus 2 factorial over n plus 3 factorial. How often do you get to say factorial? Um, all right. So I think the first part's easy. Um, we just have 4 to the n plus 1 over 4 to the n. That'll just be a 4 to the first in the numerator. n plus 1 factorial over n factorial. Again, if you imagine expanding this out, you would have n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, dot, dot, dot. In the denominator, n factorial would be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot, dot, dot. So everything would cancel out except for an n plus 1. So we would have an n plus 1 in the numerator. Well, the same thing's going on with our third factor. So we would have n plus 1 over 1. And then n plus 3 over n plus 2, or excuse me, n plus 2 factorial over n plus 3 factorial. Well, again, if you imagine expanding this out, we would have n plus 2. One smaller would be n plus 1, then times n, times n minus 1, dot, dot, dot. In the denominator, we would start with n plus 3. Then we would subtract 1 from that and have n plus 2 n plus 1, dot, dot, dot. Notice everything's going to cancel out except for the n plus 3 in the denominator. Okay, so now we're taking the limit of this stuff. But we've got the limit as n goes to infinity. Notice in, if we multiply n plus 1 and n plus 1, we would get n squared plus 2n plus 1 over n plus 3. Well, this is a case where we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity. The degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator. So this is just going to go off to positive infinity. Well, that's certainly greater than 1. And when it's greater than 1, the ratio test tells us that the um, original series will diverge.